Hello guys, I am at <laughs> I'm with um Zaw Brides Beauty by Zaw. What Zaw what do Academy. I call you? Oh yeah, so okay, that's the word. I'm at Zaw Academy today because we are going to um, do makeup. We're going to learn how to do makeup for the third time in our lives. <laughs> Okay, but I just feel you can never know enough and um, if you think you need help, stay tuned. This is Rosanna, she's the lecturer. Hi. And what will we be doing today? We are focusing on beginners, um, makeup beginners. I'm still a beginner guys of the years. <laughs> we are going, she's going to teach us all about brushes. This is the metallic spoon brushes. <gasps> but, what is it now? <laughs> What's it called? Metallic spoon. <laughs> This is the metallic pearl brushes and as you can find on our website, watch you with www.beautybyzar.com. Oh yes, I'm so good. Anyway, <laughs> if you're interested in learning about brushes first, what to use when and for what, stay tuned. We are here to assist. But before we start... <laughs> Um, yeah, because like, you can't do makeup on an empty stomach. <laughs> you need ice cream, waffles, <laughs> and some cool drinks. Yeah. You know that ice cream always makes us thirsty. thirsty. Yeah. Oh, I'm bad. The cream is just hitting me hard, and it's just been a hectic day, guys. But um, yeah, we're gonna have fun now. Let me just go eat something. I'm even learning how to remove makeup properly, guys. Can you believe it? You just have to find a makeup remover that works for you. Like you get oil-based makeup removers, you get water-based makeup removers. We use Garnier. You this is called Masala Cleansing Water. Yeah. Plus you can get that dusky more clicks. Yeah. This is not... Uh, this one is good for sensitive skin. And so uh, for eye makeup, you keep it on the eye for a few minutes, for a few seconds, guys. Ooh, it will help. Because uh, I used to do this. Rub, rub, rub. And then my eyes... I have it slain good. So also, if you're wearing a lot of eye makeup, like gel liners and mascaras, yes. you can specifically get eye makeup removers. Oh, oh, okay, I do have that, but I must just find it. But for me still, the makeup remover cloth is the easiest, mm -hmm. because it literally takes off the liner, the mascara, the eyeshadow. When you, do you do it in the shower or do you do no. it when you do your nighttime routine? Yes. Yeah, it's good that you don't actually do it in the shower, because shower is too hot you shouldn't do your nighttime routine in the shower water oh but i don't really have a routine because <laughs> the people are gonna know you i'm us, lying some of us need more <laughs> have to actually think <laughs> yeah you need more work than others okay so Guys, this is the makeup bag, makeup bag that I came here. <laughs> this is the makeup bag that I came here with. That the brushes come in. Now, when you buy this packet from me, I don't expect you to use this. You As a makeup bag. A makeup but I got bag. the new one. You can just put it into a bag from clips unless you get a pouch. But this one doesn't come with a pouch. Okay, my face is clean. So, we are going to start with brushes. This is something that gives me anxiety, a lot of brushes, because I don't know wh what brush is for, for what part of the face or whatever. So she's quickly going to give us a tutorial on brushes. Okay, cool. so um, you will see, you will come across many brush sets like this that has maybe 10, 8, 10, 11 brushes in it, which will be very um, intimidating or overwhelming for you. However, what I what I suggest you do is you break it down into two. You get the bigger brushes like this, and then you get the smaller brushes like this. Okay? So you first step divide your brush set, the big ones and the small ones. So the small ones are more for the eyes and the more details, right? The big ones are gonna be for the face. So out of your big brushes, you're gonna have uh, I found at least one foundation brush like this one we have a it's called a kabuki brush it's a buffing brush and you would just buff your foundation in like that you place it in the reason why this technique this buffing technique is so good is because a lot of people out there have dry skin or they have acne 
and it's better for you to for them to buff or press in the foundation because they don't cause microderma abrasion on their skin they don't cause flicks mm. so it's and also people some people have um acne prone skin maybe they have so see i'll get confused between the two of but these you can ones. actually use both of these for that this but one is a little bit angled because that was for this you can use it for your contour however you must always remember that brushes are always going to be multi-purpose there's never gonna be mm. one reason so the more you get used to doing your own makeup you will try different brushes for different reasons guess what the first episode is going to be on brushes because it's going to be 10 minutes that's perfect <laughs> yeah, it's fine yes we'll just go with it we'll yes, go with yes, it. yes okay so the face brushes so like i said this so is you're going to do that is the foundation brush you can see it's, a, it's but it's a petting you must yeah pet it's like a kabuki it. brush it's like it means that the, the hairs are quite dense like that and i'll show we'll show you this is a flat buffing this is a foundation brush as well but this is a flat foundation brush you get many different types all i all you need to know is in every brush set you should have at least one buffing uh, one foundation brush right quite so let's go back to the face brushes so we already pulled this one out where you see it, it looks very similar to this which is yes. fine it just has an angle so this one is flat and this one has an, an angle. angle but you could also buff your foundation in with this or your concealer and when it has this point it actually goes under here very nicely under the eye okay mm. but you could also use it for your bronzer or your contour okay so that is bronzer me, and contour the same thing no that brings me to the next point mm. the rest of the brushes the face brushes are either gonna be this is very basic it's either gonna be for your blusher your bronzer your contour or your powder and that's it okay so for Show example the in the camera this, okay. for example the biggest one is very nice for powder why it covers a large area very quickly remember every time you do your makeup you're gonna be in a rush you know uh, some people prefer a smaller powder brush you could use this one so this is big this is a bit smaller you could use the smaller one for your powder because some people like to go under the eyes they don't like a big brush for powder so it serves different purposes right but you could use either one of these for powder do you know i don't use powder i okay i added <clears throat> for a week and then now it's gone is it important um powder? powder is definitely important for longevity in makeup for example oh. when i did your wedding makeup if i didn't set your makeup with a powder you would have said to me it's on the makeup didn't last so mm -hmm. every time a makeup artist does your makeup she's going to set your makeup with a powder the purpose of the powder is to prolong the life of the makeup okay. so it's going to set it it's gonna you know when you if you don't set your foundation and you go to greet someone it can transfer onto them so it also um, reduces transfer and then some people have very oily skin so they need powder okay right? so those are the purposes it's going to absorb the oil so if you can if you skip on powder fine but if you're going to be on set with me for 10 hours i'm going to put powder on your face because um your face looks more oily on camera okay mm. so guys you must also be careful don't people are scared of powder don't be scared of powder they're scared of it because they think it's going to make them look cakey however in today's powders it's so finely milled it's so so fine you just dust it over the areas where you would usually get oil like on the t-zone like that or dust it over the t-zone because you want to glow but you don't want to shine okay so the, there's going to be one big brush for powder if you don't do powder it's fine just use the brushes on two of the things that you do if you've never needed powder then you don't need it don't go and add it for no reason yeah if i had to leave you on your wedding day to go without powder that you you would have needed to go shoot in the sunshine in the wind maybe you shed some tears when daddy and made a speech even though you lied to me and said you wouldn't cry I did cry, but the makeup lasted no yeah, Do you know, I Let me just say something. <laughs> that the one photographer snapped us after the speeches. Aiden's ones, mm. where it was in the hall, so, mm. and I still looked amazing. But this is after the thing crying. with wedding makeup, is wedding makeup has to endure crying, photos, kissing, the and groom this. or people, dancing, sunlight, wind. Um, so it's supposed to look natural, but it's supposed to last through all of those things. It must look um, beautiful, up close, 
from far on camera, on video camera, and I can write it first. It needs to tick all these boxes. So that's why what makes bridal makeup so complicated. But anyway, that we can speak about that yeah, another day. Yeah, also here yeah, and yeah, yeah, it's not okay. side track. It's not side track. But yeah, longevity. That's when you need your powder. Oily skin. That's when you need your powder. If you if there's something that you don't need. Just skip it. Okay, okay. let's make it uh, simple. Okay, so then these other brushes here. So we've already done the two foundation and we've already done these two, two for powder. However, we could also use this one for blush and we could use this one for blush. I actually like this one for blush. It's smaller, but I also like this one for highlight. I can do this one for blush and I can do it for highlight, right? And I could use these two for contouring and for bronzing. So there we go. So divide your yeah, face yeah, brushes. Yeah, bronzing and contouring is the same thing. No. So I'm gonna make it simple for you. A bronzer is to make you look tanned. Okay. To give you the But if I have glow. foundation, I must don't need to look tanned. Um, I must already tanned. Yeah, but somebody, for example, you're gonna get pale people, even tanned people like you, will get paler in winter then you need a bit of a glow however you get a lot of people out there who don't want to look pale mm. they want to be tan look at jlo 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 has a jlo glow she's got high, lots of highlight lots of bronzer so oh. bronzer is to make you look tan to add color to your face mm. if you don't need it you don't need it you can also go over your contour with your bronzer but contouring and bronzer is two different things Contouring, do you, what do you know about contouring? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. but what is that actually doing? It's making my face look skinnier. It's yeah. giving shape and exactly. it's giving me a cheekbone. Exactly. So contouring is adding shape, adding dimension into your face. Oh, right? okay. So you have natural shadows in your face. But when you go and you put your foundation on, you're taking all those natural shadows out of your face. So you're making everything one dimensional. Oh. Now you need to go back in and add the shadows back in and pop that cheekbone or you can like you said make you look skinnier or recede features so highlighting is making features bigger and contouring is making features smaller so if you contour your nose you're going to make it thinner smaller shorter whatever and if you contour your cheekbones you're going to bring your face in like People have different face shapes. Some people have a round shape. Some people have, I would say, you are more on like a heart shaped face where you can see the bottom of your face looks more like a heart. Yeah, sorry, smile for me. Yeah, so I wouldn't say a round, I would say more of a heart shape. Um, but contouring is also based on your shape of your face, right? So, say for example, you had a very, very narrow face. Would you think you'd be able to contour your cheekbones? Mm -mm. No. I have no, exactly. So contouring is based on your face shape and your perception. Because some people will come to me and say, oh my God, I have a huge body. Can you please contour it? But it will be in proportion in my eyes. So you're going to go and you're going to contour your body. If your body you feel is big, if you have, if your hairline comes to here, you have so little for it. You can't go and contour it. You're gonna make it even smaller. Instead, you should highlight it. You see? So, yeah, also contouring, you can get rid of a double chin. Um, you can actually lift the face, etc. But that's what contouring does. It's adding shape and dimension, receding features. Bronzing is just plainly making you look tan, giving you a glow. Um, but remember, colored people can also use bronzer. They still also go pale. Do you use bronzer on your whole face? No. Bronzer you would also use like highlighter in the areas where the sun naturally hits. Okay. Oh, okay. So, for example, when my client tells me they don't... So, we're done with the brushes now? No, no, I'm going to touch. I'm just going to touch on the eye brushes. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have to. But I wanted to make it easy for you. Divide your brush it into two. The big brushes is for the face. The face is foundation, powder, blush, bronzer, highlight, contour. Okay, now let's go to the smaller brushes. Okay, so here we've got, I'm gonna take this out. So here I've got sort of like fluffy brushes here. So these ones we would use for the eyes. Okay, 
when I go into our eyeshadow demo with you, I will show you properly how we would use these three. But for example, fluffy brushes you usually use in the crease of your eye, and a flat brush you would use on the lid. You would just pat your eyeshadow onto the lid. It doesn't have to be called that. I knew. Okay? Yeah. Here's a small brush. It's called the pencil brush. Usually the small ones, they are. Do you use it as eye pencil? For you your... can use it for, yeah, you can use it for underneath. You can pop some highlighter there. You can use it to smoke up your eyeshadow. There's a lot of things you can do with a small brush. Okay, then you've got, this one looks like, this is actually, we call this a concealer brush. So you would go Oops. in. And I don't have concealer at the moment, that's why I use it for other stuff. So if you don't have concealer, that means that you don't need it. Concealer is, do you know what, who, who uses concealer? People with dark marks. Yes. But this is dark. So people with dark marks, people with acne, people with discoloration, pigmentation, dark circles. Mm, discoloration. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. but you see mm. yours is not so bad. Mm. If yours was so bad, you I would have, have had concealer. Uh, uh. Okay, so guys, I just want to speak to you quickly about concealer. Foundation, the purpose of foundation is to even out your skin tone and make you look more attractive and sort of like conceal, right? Conceal. So everyone has three to four colors in their face. They will be dark on the forehead because the sun hits there if you wear your hair. If you wear your hair to the back, usually the sun hits here first, so you're darker over here. Then you would have, usually people have dark under their eyes. Um, and then usually people have a little bit of discoloration on their mouth. And if you're like me, I really have foundation on by the way, but I have acne scarring um, and I have dark circles. So um, if you had, you, what you're going to do is you're going to put your foundation on and what your foundation doesn't cover, that's where you're going to use your concealer. So maybe you, your foundation covers enough for you. Maybe I'm just lazy. Maybe you are, but <laughs> maybe that's why you ma your makeup looks different when, when you do it and when we do it. Yes. First of all, we found out that you're not wearing, you, we're not using powder. And then we found out that you're not using concealer. Yeah. So you, I mean, I was using foundation and eye and, 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 and eyeshadow. Mm. So say for example, now we put one layer of foundation on. Now we can still see dark circles through. That's when we will take this brush and we will apply concealer. So guys, we'll do it for you so that you can see. And then we've got two brushes left here. They're both angled. So maybe with that one, you could do a winged liner. If you don't know how to do a winged liner, you could just maybe fill in the sparse areas in your brows. Hi. Oh, that's the brush that's And this one you could also do with your brows, but what we do as makeup artists, we use this one to do to put lipstick on for people but you don't even need this one mm, so big lips it's fine so you see how i broke down the brushes for you face brushes eye brushes but you don't need to worry that what is what brush for what mm. is which which is what do you do with each brush so i can do an eyeliner with this brush exactly. and, a, and a so i smoky eye you can wine. do a smoky eye i'll show you how to do a nice smoky a eye but also what i wanted to explain to you remember i said to you that brushes are multi-purpose yes. you can use different brushes for many purposes so this one i said you can use for your crease in your eyeshadow but i like to use this one to pat in concealer under the dark circles and i also like to use this to contour very naturally but this is the eyeshadow brush okay this one concealer brush i actually use this brush to paint foundation over the whole face then i buff it in with this so you much just the technique no but this is my point is don't don't make it complicated however these many different uses for different brushes. Okay. The other thing I need to explain to you quickly before we move on is there's a reason why makeup artists have so many brushes. It is because every time we put the product on, we need to blend it out and we need to blend it out with a clean brush. So we take this brush and we blend it out so that you don't see the color. Okay, yeah. So, okay, you we're ready. Yeah, I'm gonna cut okay. it out. Hello, I must, I must listen to it all over again. Okay. And again and again. Do you okay. think I broke it down? Like yes. <laughs> hey, you're, you're, very, like your uh, you're a very good lecturer. I'm laughing, man, because you're so in order. Anyway, 
Guys, that was the end of the first YouTube video all about brushes and a little bit about makeup and why we need it and how. And so, you're such a good lecturer. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is Rosanna, and where can they find you? Um, you can find me on Zabrides, at Zabrides. Um, and you can also find me on Zar Academy if you want to come for makeup lessons or makeup school. Mm. Okay, cool. <laughs> Ciao. Bye.